So, I'm um, sorry about the other video. My mom, she ran out of time on her camera. So, let's go back to where we left off, which was the envelopes, which are these. So, remember, I chose these two colors, which are green and yellow. Mod Podge, index cards, scissors, and markers, pens of your choice. So, the first step is you're going to get your glue. And you're going to glue one side of the paper. Okay, so if you have a brush or anything like that, you could smear it around so that you could get more glue. And I'm just glad to use my fingers. So now I'm going to get the other color. And I'm about to put it the same place where I put my Mod Podge. Then, I'm going to turn this around, and whatever color that you want the most of, like if you want more green, then you'll have a whole bunch of green and like a little bit of white. But I want a whole bunch of green, so I'm going to do the green side. So I'm going to about to go fold it just like the way that you'll do it with the fortune. Wait, you're making a fortune? So then you're just going to cut off the rest of the sides, which are right here, because you don't need that. Okay, so I'm going to cut right here, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so now that I'm done folding, you're going to want to... <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. My little sister's playing in the back. So back to what we was doing. So, remember when we folded it in, so now we have to open it. And the same way that you do a fortune is the same way that you do it here. I'm going to fold the other side. I'm going to open it. And then, as you can tell, you have these two lines that look like a T. Then you're going to get a flap, and you're going to put each of them in the middle. And you're going to have one that stays out. So the color that you have a little bit of, which is the white, same thing that I did right here. So the background, the back will be pink, and then right here, the inside will be white. So that's how it's going to be right here. So we have the white flap, and it's going to be the flap right here. So I'm going to keep on folding it. Okay, so if it's hard for you to put both of them down, you're going to have to open them each and then fold it as you go. So, wait, just, okay. okay, so once you're done folding, like I say, you're going to leave one out and you're going to have to fold that so that when you do make the envelope. Then I'm gonna get the Mod Podge. I'm gonna put it on one side of the flap. So once that you put the flap on the glue, you're gonna put a little bit more glue on the same flap. I'm gonna get the flap that's right here. Put it right there and fold it as I go along. I'm going to wipe that extra glue. Then you're going to get another paper. You're going to fold it and you're going to cut out a heart. I mean, this is like an option if you want to, to put a heart right here. I'm going to make a heart and I'm going to glue it on that envelope. going to be the heart and I'll put it right there. So I'm going to put some glue and I'm going to smear it off with my finger and once again you could use a little brush for like any, like your art but I just prefer to use my finger and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to wipe the extras and 
Once you're done doing that, that's when the pencils and pens and markers come in. So you could write whatever you want, like Happy Valentine's Day. So I'm going to write that right here. I'm going to choose another color. Why? Okay, so the next step is to, if if you want, like I did right here, you could put like hearts on the flap to have like more detail. I'm going to get my glue again. And like I said before, you can put as like different colors and as much hearts as you want. But for now, I'm just putting two. Put too much glue on. So I'm gonna put that on this type of. I'm gonna put this on the flap. I'm gonna wipe this on my finger. This time I'm gonna try to put a little. Okay. okay I'm gonna yeah. smear it and put it on the other side. <coughs> then that is when the envelopes come in. So you could put envelopes, candy, treats, and stuff. So I'm going to get some envelopes. I mean index cards. And I'm going to put it inside of here. The only reason why I said, I mean this is optional, but the only reason why you need to put two is so that it could be big enough. Because if you just put one sheet of paper, then it's not going to be all that big. And when you open it, it's going to look like that. And this is what it looks like. Like I said, if you want the most color, which will be green and a little bit of white. So let's move on to the next step. Okay, so the next one that I'll be making is this eight hearts. And let's get started. Okay, so remember I showed you, I'm going to do this one. So I chose this color, which is like an orange, pinkish color. And I'm going to have it this way, not this one, this way. And I'm going to do the fold it with these flaps. <laughs> God, you scared me. Then I'm going to cut this the bottom. So I'm cutting across the paper. Then once I'm done doing that, <laughs> once I'm done doing that, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to take this part and I'm going to put it upwards. I'm gonna take this one and put it up again. Then, I'm gonna cut out some hearts. Have a ghost up. Okay, so these hearts you don't have to throw away. You could keep them, like paste them, paint them, draw on them, do anything with them. And you could you could color on them and you could put these on your envelopes, the hearts on your envelopes. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep on cutting out I'm gonna cut out four hearts. And I have these hearts, which are right here. And I'm about to open it and see what I did. That could be on the um, ABC Mommy Collection. So I messed up right here because I overlapped the hearts, but that's okay. And most of these hearts you can hang up on your wall and make your room look nice. So we're going to move on to the next step, which is this crazy pattern of hearts, little Whoa, hearts. crazy! So let's get started. Okay, so the, now I'm going to make this heart, this crazy heart pattern, and I'm using yellow paper. So the first step is to fold it like this. I'm going to 
get your scissors to do this. And then, oh, and then I'm gonna fold it in half. And then I'm gonna cut like little shapes of hearts. And remember guys, do not throw, I mean, if you want, but do not throw the hearts away because you could do different types of things that you wanna do with it. Keep on cutting. So, as you guys can see, I'm still cutting. And what you're going to do to get the pattern right there, you're going to have to keep on folding it and cutting hearts and folding. So, I'm going to cut a whole bunch of hearts all around. Okay, sorry about this long video because I just want to show you guys how to do it step by step. And we are already on 11 minutes. So I'm gonna keep on doing this and we'll try to make it as fast as I can. Okay, so now that I'm done doing the small hearts, it took me a while. So when you open it, it's gonna look like that. And I'm gonna fold it one more time. I'm gonna do the same thing I did before, which was the small hearts. So it's gonna be a little faster. And then the middle is gonna have, right? a bigger size heart. I'm gonna keep on doing this. Okay, so I have cut in between and as you can tell that the rest of them are small and this one is bigger. So I'm about to show you the final. Oh. So that's what it looks like. There might be a little difference because this one has patterns going everywhere and this one just has like a cross. So, that's the end of our video. Bye! You want to say something? You want to show your frozen bag? Frozen bag. Uh, can I Uh-huh, go ahead. So, this is Elsa, Anna, o Olaf, and the design. And you can see we got this.